Hello and welcome to the birthday gift. This is the 2022 prediction reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to start by looking at your uh, main focus, okay, like the overall energy for the year, and then we'll jump into like the uh, center um, focus as well as the supporting energies challenging energies base as well as outcome and advice we'll get a storyline and so forth okay all right so let's get started here for virgo 2022 please give me a message for virgo for the year of 2022 what can virgo expect got a chunk of cards a chunk of money because all i see is i'm not going to take it it's way too thick okay it's way too thick but um i do see you receiving i see you receiving receiving what you've been waiting for okay y'all been planting seeds y'all been working hard it's like um i'm feeling some kind of impatience so a lot of you have been really waiting for your rewards to come in it's coming, okay? There's a balance. Your justice is coming, Virgo. So let's see what message we have. Virgo 2022. Alrighty, this is awesome because there is an opening here. Decisions you make matter a lot. You're going to have to be very mindful because it's going to be at the heart of your reading. And if you take a close look, it's like a portal opening. And this person is deciding to walk into this new world. It's a whole new experience opening up for you because of decisions you've made. So this is leaving things behind. This is receiving the messages. You were led here. Okay, that ego guided you here. You were able to pay attention to the signs and you walk straight there. And now you're looking at this view and it's like, wow, look at all of this that's available to me. A lot of you may be moving to a new space. I'm seeing a lot of land here. Um, so this is the heart of your, your message for the heart of your energy for the year. I'm seeing new space, new opportunities for you, a whole new world opening up for you. And the base is because you walked away from things that just wasn't working. It wasn't fulfilling. So this is important to know because when it comes to reviewing the past and uh, you know, considering what you've gone through, you want to make sure you understand that where you are now is because of decisions you made. One of them was to leave certain things behind. If any of those things was unfulfilling, if any of those things were bringing up certain kind of fears, okay, there's a moon here and it's dark. This person is leaving over water. This was emotional. Now, this lets me know there was an assessment done. These cups are not toppled over. So you went and you looked in each cup and apparently whatever was in there just wasn't the best for you. So this is someone who meticulously checked before they made this decision. And that's why this decision led you here. Make sure you understand that this is what's getting you what you have, what's coming in removing yourself from things that just didn't work anymore okay if it doesn't make sense you don't want to keep yourself um, attached to it so decisions are important how you make decisions because that's what decides whether or not this new opportunity this new world is available to you Virgo okay so let's keep going we're going to look at supporting energies for the year uh, you have, you're going to have some choices. You have options. 
You get to choose what you want. You get to choose what you want. So again, you are going to analyze and you're going to look in each cup. All that glitters ain't gold. So take a careful look, especially if you're considering something that you walked away from or you remove yourself from. Because I see options, Virgo. There's like, um, it's almost like you're going to be able to decide what's best for you. You will be able to consider whether or not you want to, um, to do whatever it is that it is. Whatever it is that's presented to you, you get to choose, okay? And I do see you thinking about it. I see you actually um, sitting down, looking carefully, and making whatever decision you need to make. And that's how you want to make decisions, okay? Carefully look at this. So this is a supporting energy. This lets me know um, there's a sense of freedom when it comes to what's next in your life. You're the one choosing. You're the one uh, deciding what it is that you're going to take and what you're going to reject. So you will have that element in 2022. So there's a, this is really good because you're, um, it's like your horizons have been broadened and you, you have more ability to do more things. A lot of you, your, like your view, your outlook, on things have changed you see things differently you no longer see it one-sided like you want to consider all sides of something so you take your time you know that is an approach that's going to help you uh, remember at the heart of your reading you have the two of wands decisions how you make decisions what you leave behind if it doesn't support you if it's one of these options you really want to consider if you want to choose it, okay? All righty. Uh, your challenging energies, Virgo. We have, okay, we have a king of pentacles here. So some of you guys may be dealing with, because um, I'm getting several things here. Some of you are dealing with, you, you're trying to find stability in your life. You're trying to really, you want to be at a place where you, have everything you need when it comes to your physical needs, you know? Um, so I'm getting like someone who really, there's a sense of independence here. So some of you guys may be business owners and you wanna make sure everything's running right. Um, other Others of you, this is representing a person, King of Pentacles. Uh, And I'm getting that there's a um, there's a person like they're, they're wanting to be at a specific place when it comes to their finances before they make any kind of offer to you. It's like this person has a pinnacle in their hand um, and they're looking at their treasures. Someone's just trying to make sure they have enough. Okay, so a, a lot of you your relationship is being affected by finances like um uh, some of you this may be someone you are codependent on and you're going to be called to go and find your own independence when it comes to your your foundation your stability uh feeling secure with what you have okay so a lot of you Getting to that place where you're happy with career, happy with business, happy with you know money, that is a challenge for you and it's causing uh, certain feelings to come up, okay? And for others, this is a person. Uh, we'll see what the advice and outcome is. I'll, I'll uh, clarify, but let, let's see what the adv advice and outcome is for you. Okay, you have everything you need. You will be manifesting everything you deserve. Of course, you gotta understand that this is, you have this ability, like this is a power that you have, that you can manifest 
whatever it is you want. You put in the work, you make the right decisions, you move away from things that just don't work. You are able to really face any kind of challenges that come up when it comes to your stability, your money, your finance, your business, whatever you've built for yourself. And you manifest the outcome that you deserve. So this is your this is your outcome, your advice card. So y'all are gonna be in an energy in 2022 where you can actually build the life that you want for yourself. You it's coming true. Like what you said was gonna happen is happening in 2022. Just know that your choices play a role. Okay, but I see things manifesting for you, Virgo, and this is really, really good remembering that it's when you decided to go no matter how scary it was to go and find something more meaningful something better something that really was fulfilling eight empty cups is not fulfilling going and finding it and deciding which one is best for you some of you guys you made a choice and you took the one that was glittering that was shiny but it turned out to be empty. It turned out to be unfulfilling. If anything, it turned out to be draining. It took more from you than it gave to you. And um, this could have been a person, you know, coming up in your challenging energy. Let's take a look here. Oh, I forgot to look at your overall. Oh, justice. Things are balancing out for you. It's here. You're paying off karmic debt and it's here. Oh my gosh, no more stagnant energy. So you have um, closed out a karmic cycle, Virgo. That's your overall. You're about to, you're attracting everything that's due to you. So whatever energy you've been sending out, it's coming back. Whatever work you've done in 2021, you're about to reap the rewards in 2022. And this is a pretty big deal here. So you're going to start feeling more relaxed and um, a sense of balance here. All right, so let's take a look here. Your challenge, King of Pentacles. Some of y'all, this is an actual person. Others of you, this is a... An energy where it comes to your finances and we have a page of wands here so I'm feeling like the need to initiate the need to do something the need to um, like whatever this is it's going to bring good news so some of you guys there's things you need to do to like kick things off when it comes to for instance, a business, um, an idea you have, or a project you're working on at work. Uh, and then there's this element here also of someone who's needing to do something. I, I don't know, there's like, bring news. I don't know, some of you may be waiting on an institution to tell you whether you got the job or whether you got the loan or something like that, something with money. Um, others of you, you may be waiting on someone to make a move towards you or anything else here. Okay, we got something. Mm -hmm. So someone could be, I don't know, there's a like worry energy. Some of you might worry a lot about money. You're going to have to get out of that and know that good news is on its way as, as long as you're doing what you need to do. So this does take action. So some of you are worrying unnecessarily. Um, for those of you, if this represents a person, I see this person is afraid to take action. So they worry and they, this is somebody who's really beating themselves up. Um, like, what did I do? Well, I can't believe I did that. Someone's in regret. Someone's worried. So I do get that energy here because many of you, you're making decisions and you're moving forward and you're carefully considering things now. 
Um, okay, so this person was wanting to be at a stable place, Virgo. For those of you, this is a person, this person wanted to be at a stable place before they can, I'm getting a realistic, like practical energy. This person, like they move slow because they're making plans and they want to be at a place where they can actually, it's like they were dealing with insecurities around money. All right, and that's what I'm getting there. So let's go ahead and see what story we have for y'all for 2022. Just ask for more details around this, okay? All right, King of Swords. Somebody's serious. Somebody has something to say. Like, I don't know if they're not saying it or they don't want to say it. Uh, this could be you, Virgo, like because you seem to be very serious, focused. Everything has to make sense. You've detached from anything that doesn't make sense. It doesn't vibe with you. You're not interested. This is a very detached uh, energy. It's firm. It can come off as aloof and distant. So many of you have cut off things in your life. You remove yourself from certain things, certain energies. You you're you're now very serious and um it's like not letting other things penetrate you and affect you. I mean, the way you have this sword here and the sword is down, it's like you are serious. You're done. It's like you're firm with this and this is the energy you give off. You, you seem to be uninterested, unaffected. You got this ego here too. And butterflies around your head. So this is someone who's gone through whatever you just gone through has really, really gotten you to look at things in a um, obje objective way. Like it's just um, black and white. Uh, he has this gray coat on, so there is some gray areas, certain things that do need reading between the lines. But I, I do feel like a very serious energy here. This is someone who's going to speak the truth. When they open their mouth, the only thing that's going to come out is facts. And it might come off um, harsh. It might come off like no emotions in it, but it's the fact. And that's where you are. And you know what? The will. Things are happening how they're supposed to. You're good. You're on the road. I feel like you're on the right timeline, right? You're at a place where you're going to manifest fortune here. You're going to manifest th what you deserve. You're in alignment with your destiny, right? You closed out cycles, karmic cycles, and you're on a row. So 2022 is gonna feel like it's giving back to you what you deserve. You're gonna start feeling fulfilled. You're gonna, there's like luck on your side here. There are things that's gonna happen that you're gonna be blown away from. It's gonna blow you away, the wheel. Why is the wheel here? Well, nothing's here. Anything for the will? All righty. We got... Um, five of Swords to me here. What I'm getting is uh, some of you, 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 you don't give up. Like you're not someone who gives up. Like you fight till the end. And even if it feels like it wasn't the outcome you wanted, you turn it into a win. There's no empty victories here. Okay. I do see the uh, lovers in reverse. So you you may have dealt with um, a relationship just not turning out the way you wanted it to. Some of you could have been dealing with infidelity here. Uh, I'm just getting 
whatever relationship this was, or whatever happened in this relationship, you didn't lose, you don't look at it as a loss. Actually, the will is turning in your favor. So you actually understand why it happened that way. And you you know that you are attracting or you've already attracted something that's much better or much healthier for you. So it's not a loss. Wow. We have the high priestess. You know, Virgo, you, you all, nothing can be hidden for you. There's like no secrets. Nothing can be hidden. High priestess is here, but it's in reverse. Some of you, there may be people who just don't really, they don't know what to expect from you. I don't know. There's some kind of contradiction. You, you seem to, uh, you may be holding a lot of things, like be very secretive. You all don't let what you've gone through make you untrustworthy, like, or make you not trust others, both. You don't want to be neither. Okay, so depending on where you stand, when it comes to whatever you've gone through that felt like a battle, it felt like you were at war with either someone or yourself, you know, this could sometimes be winning at all costs and not caring who you hurt, right? Some of you may feel like that's what happened to you. And it turned you into someone who, I'm getting in, in reverse, the high priestess is someone who just doesn't trust anyone, doesn't share anything to anyone, comes off as very secretive and is, um, honestly, totally withdrawn. You don't want to, even with this King of Swords, you don't want to turn cold. You don't want to turn icy. Like I'm getting like an ice box, right? You got an ice box where my heart used to be. And I know that's a, like, there's lyrics to a song. Some of you don't let an experience an experience in a relationship turn you cold, all right? You don't want that because it, it can block certain things. I just feel like um, some of you may have really truly expressed and um, had a lot of love to give, but an experience, now you're, you're the opposite. You're not giving, you're not speaking, you're not expressing. You're totally withdrawn. So don't let that make you, okay? Because in 2022, things are about to get on track. Okay, they had me go over this, I guess, to make sure you know not to block yourself, okay? Because this King of Swords, this person is not having it. I want more on that, actually. This is someone who just doesn't, is not even considering they're done. And there's something here about the don't, don't block what you actually want. Look at it as a win. It's a victory for you. The will is turning in your favor. Okay. King of Swords, tell me more. Of course, this could be somebody who has done this to you, Virgo. King of Swords, please. Anything on this Queen of Swords? Okay, I've got a card here. All righty. You don't want to be stuck. You don't want to feel like nothing happened. So don't be too rigid, too stoic here. Um, mm -hmm. This is supposed to really have you operating in a new way where you don't allow yourself to get stuck anymore. And I think that's why many of you are like this. You don't want to get here again, you're ready for new. You just want new. And some of y'all, rightfully so, you're you're probably not opening yourself up to certain energies, certain people. 
that is the balance. In the past, you may have opened yourself up to whoever, um, you know, whoever gave you the belief or um, who made you feel like they were of a certain energy. Now, you are not trusting everyone anymore. You are not doing that. You're not opening yourself up to everyone. You are now being careful with how you make decisions. You are now uh, really assessing. It's like you learned the lesson. No more opening myself up, right? So, okay, that's cool. Let's keep going. Because 2022 is really a different energy space for y'all. Just know that. So you do need to be doing things differently. I mean, the fool is here. There's a balance happening for you. And this is a good balance. We have eight of pentacles. This is showing that you've done the work. I do see a lot of work for you. I see many of you are going to be working on things. And this is uh, actually going to be where you you get your fortune. So I do see you working. I see you busy. Wow, your abundance. You're here. Yeah, a lot of you, 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 you made it. You are exactly where, like you manifested this. So you, you do have wealth and abundance all around you. Mm, the universe is really taking care of you, Virgo. So people will uh, be aware. There's something about you, like you glow. It, it just, people look twice, like you're a head turner, Virgo. Like you, you shine, you stand out. Okay, even the kids, the animals love you. Um, it's your energy, you, your energy. So it, <laughs> expect, um, I'm getting grandiose, like, you all are coming up like posh, you know, um, very, there's this, um, it's like royalty. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's, let's see. Cause I feel like there's this abundance. What this really is, is expressing what I'm trying to express is something that's happening internally. Like it will show out outwardly, but this is really happening inside of you where you now know your worth, right? You know who you are and you, you're not going to just take, um, you're not going to take anything. Like everything doesn't get the opportunity to come into your space. So you, this is how you're operating at a higher vibration, right? That's where I'm going. So you attract things that's at a higher vibration because you've done the work. Okay, so this is good. Empress. So 2022 is going to make you feel really good about yourself. It's just going to, it's going to validate that everything you've gone through was not in vain. Like it's not, you didn't just do it just to do it. It, it, it really has an, uh, a result that's actually good for you. I see five of cups. So you guys, there's people around you who are sad. You do have, there's an energy around you of, um, of regret. It just, I don't know. So, oh my God. It's like, yeah, look at that. You are really showing up as, um, like someone who has it all. I'm feeling like beauty and brains, Virgo. It's like putting you, someone puts you on a pedestal. Someone is really, there's another card here. I'm just feeling the energies. Like um, someone may look at you as like out of their league. And not being able to meet you where you were. And that's where I was getting here too. 
I was getting someone who just felt like they needed to be at a certain place before they can really come in and work with you. So three of pentacles, I picked it up in reverse. They may feel like you may not want to work on it. I'm getting Mm -hmm. I don't I don't think this would have worked. A lot of you may think that something in your past, like whatever this the, the lover's energy in reverse, it wouldn't have worked even if you if you tried. It just wasn't ready. It wasn't ready, Virgo. So just know that so that you don't sit in regret about something that didn't work out. Okay? Don't be sad about things that didn't work out. I, I'm feeling like you are attracting people to you. But there is something here about some regrets of something that didn't work out, okay? All right, let me lay two more cards here. Just know it's a year of balance for you. So things that didn't work out, they're gonna come in. They're gonna balance out. Okay, Virgo? Okay, nine of wands. Again, there's somebody stressing. This is an energy of not giving up though. So there, there are um, things happening around you Someone has not given up on you is what I'm getting, okay? And something's coming in. If there's uh, something you're waiting on, if you're waiting to hear back from something, right? Uh, like I was getting here alone, an offer, something. It's here, it's approaching. Something's about to happen. And in 2022, I feel like you're going to experience it. When I'm recording this, I feel like it's very close. So in 2022, it will arrive. For some of you, it will happen within three months' time of you hearing this message. Okay, um, three months, three weeks. It's, um, or it could be the third month in March. Three of Wands. Something's about to arrive. It's on its way. Okay. We have a few cards here. Some truth. You, you, like it's a breakthrough. It's your abundance. It's the sun. It's because you've seen clearly. Your abundance is here. Get ready for this. This is the life of a, of a, a person who has attracted everything that they wanted. But even if your physical environment is not the best, you're still at a place of peace and happiness with this card. This lets me know that there's nothing that can mess with your, with what the universe has for you. Like what yours is yours and you have been promised abundance and happiness. And that's the energy you are, uh, you're going to be in in 2022. You're going to start living your dream. Everything you've worked for, hard for, is coming in. Just know that it's just the beginning. And I feel like you had to really cut a lot of things out. This is the journey to getting to the sun. The sun is the uh, unity consciousness. This is like the highest expression of love. You're at a place where you you don't see anything in a negative way. You can find the light, the positivity in everything. And this is, it takes a lot of energy work to get here because this is a very high vibration. You're at a place of gratitude and you're thankful for everything. You're abundant here. You're abundant. Um, you're going to be financially well off. You're going to be very, very 
self-sufficient. Uh, some of you are going to be living off the land here. I, I just see you surrounded by nature. And like all of these depictions, you, there was like nature all around you. Some of you, um, I don't know, you could be buying acres. I just see you surveying the land here and um, wealth and abundance. Okay, so I'm going to get into the extended, I'm going to look at love specifically and money finance. Okay, so I'll do a spread for each. I'm feeling like 2022 is going to be a year that gives you what you always wanted, what you deserve. Like, uh, this is a spread of someone who's done the work. Someone who's done the work and now about to attract the, the award, the reward. And I see you manifesting for yourself, the magician, because of the work you've done. This required work. Okay, Eight of Pentacles here again. And you guys are hard workers. Like, you're dedicated. And that's what did it. Your determination. And this is self-work, too. The Empress is self-love. It's the epitome of knowing your worth, setting healthy boundaries, not allowing certain things to penetrate you in a negative way. Okay? Uh, Nine of Wands. Somebody's worried. Nine of Wands. And, yeah, someone's trying to... Uh, I don't know. I'm getting like confidence. Some of you are dealing with the Leo. Uh, I'm, I'm just feeling someone's trying to get the strength to do what they feel is best for them. Okay. And it has something to do with, um, with you. I don't see this person giving up. I do see that they will have the confidence to do what's best for them. Okay, but what doesn't kill you make you stronger, and I and I'm, that's what I'm getting here. A lot of you, you went through that stressful time, you went through the um, like feeling like you need to be courageous, like you need to be strong, and you were able to tame that animalistic side, your carnal nature. Hang the beast within, not give up on yourself, nine of wands, no matter how stressful it feels. And that's what's bringing this in. Like your ships are sailing in. It's right here. It's coming. You can see it. You can feel it. Okay. Your abundance is here because you saw the truth and now you're bringing in your abundance. So that is... Um, the energy for 2022 we'll get into love but let's see what the main focus on love is for virgo Oop, that went back. and it says make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so there's something about trying like not giving up on love i mean we do have the nine of wands not giving up and I, I honestly, I was getting that here. There's something about um, some of you are blocking some a specific person, honestly. And it's like make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps. We'll get into it because I'm I'm getting multiple things there. Okay, it's saying make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're going to take let's take a look at the main focus for career business finance for virgo in 2022 it's like they're saying try again with this love um eight of autumn you all are really really working people this is the Eight of Pentacles energy. It's here again. Uh, so, 
I see y'all just working on stuff, building, creating, and this is where your wealth comes through, Virgo. We got two cards here. Y'all got, like, there's um this energy of the work you're putting in is bringing in, wow, your abundance. Wow. The Empress is here again. You all have, you're in that Empress energy. So, wow. My goodness, 2022 is a uh, upgrade. It's a, um, it's going to be an abundant year for you. The power of creativity, success that allows for a life of luxury. Exactly. This is exactly what it's getting. So we're going to get more on this. A lot of you, wow, and it, it, they're both here and they came back to back. Eight of Pentacles, Empress here. And then we have Eight of Autumn, the Empress. Oh, goodness. Okay. All right. So that is the message. I mean, y'all have a lot of abundance around you for 2022. There's an abundant energy here. Okay. So we're going to leave it there, Virgo. I hope this was helpful. Um, you can always look into the timeline report for 2022. It is specific to you, your date of birth, and it will tell you what energies to expect on what date. So it is date specific. Okay, so there's more information about that down below. And if you're interested in the extended, the link for that is also down below, Virgo. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. So there's been some self-reflection on both sides. Because had I lined it up the way I usually do, it would have been you, then the self-reflection, then this person who's trying to match you. And the two of you would be facing each other and you have the same focus. Pinnacle, stability, your sense of a strong foundation. It's like matching energies and both are facing the hermit. So... This is also on Virgo's mind. A lot of you, this is what you're thinking about. You're thinking about the tox toxicity that you release and you're not wanting to go back there. Um, let's take a look at this energy. Someone has like put themselves in a place where they feel more secure. They feel more at a place where they can make an offer. Tell me more about the King of Pentacles. 